これより東北大学大学院医学研究科科学専攻ブラキアン・ブリードラム先生によります特別講演を始めさせていただきますまずはじめに私から簡単ではございますが先生のご紹介をさせていただきますブライアン・ブリードラブ先生は1999年アメリカのパーデュー大学大学院で博士号を取得されていますその年に日本においでになって以来大阪市立大学東北大学早稲田大学とずっとここ日本で科学の研究と教育とに携わってこられました2007年からは現在の勤務先である東北大学大学院理学研究科科学専攻の准教授として新しいサイエンスの開拓に挑戦されておられます本日はオープニングアップザサイエンティフィックワールドスルーイングリッシュと題して皆さんに熱い思いを語っていただきますそれでは早速お迎えいたしましょうブライアン・ブリードラブ先生ですどうぞ皆様大きな拍手でお迎えくださいませよろしくお願いいたしますはい、どうぞ OK こんにちは、みなさん。えっと、僕は、えっと、今日発表を英語でするけど、ゆっくり話す。でも、えっと、今日みんなの研究発表は面白いだと思いました。ありがとうございました。えっと、うん、これ。OK。So, today I will talk about opening up the scientific world through, through English. OK。So, we have to ask ourselves, why do you study English? Why, why bother with English? Okay. Many people like to learn languages. Okay. If you like to learn about French, or if you like to learn about even Latin, there are even computer languages. Okay. We have many ways to study languages. And Some people are commonly known as. I can't see my pointer. Okay. If you really like to learn languages, you're known as a linguophile. Okay? This just means it's not actually English, but we use these common words in English. Okay? This is actually just means language like. Now, maybe you want to work as a translator or as an interpreter. Okay. These are important fields. Most governments now have licensed, fully trained interpreters and even translators. Okay. I use these differently because a translator takes. Not mostly written information and translates. Okay, so I've actually done this in Japan where I translate from Japanese into English for people. The other one is an interpreter. This is mostly taking somebody's words and changing them as they speak. Okay, so often you need to have interpreters when you have very high level government.、Uh, Talks. Now, you want to learn about other cultures. Okay? Hokonobunka, i n a r i t a i This is called either sociology or anthropology.、Okay. These are also very important fields to study, but they're, they're not the only fields where you can learn about culture. You also learn about cultures even through science. Okay, but these are very important fields to study and they're con continuously studied even today.、Okay. Now, some of the fun things. What if you want to travel? Okay, today at lunchtime, I had a long chat with, with your hosts and the men that are, were sitting down here, and they talked about their trips to Barcelona. To New York, to 
quite a number of places. And one of the things that comes up is that most countries, you need to know English, okay? And many of your tourist uh, information services will be in English. Okay. Some countries like uh, Indonesia and also America have multi-language tourist help, but some countries don't. Okay. So you need to learn the common language. But mainly, we, why do we study English? Well, for me, it's because we want to communicate. Okay? We want to talk to other people. We want to tell people about our science. We want to just enjoy a lot of different things. We want to really feel like we're a part of the world. Okay? If you know a number of languages, you can really talk and be part of the world. Now, this is a chart of all of the main languages spoken in the world. As you can see, Chinese is number one, okay, with 1.3 billion speakers. They, they have the most people in the world, right? Well, America, which is the fourth largest country in the world, or third or fourth largest, has 527 million speakers, okay? And the next closest is Hindi and Arabic. Whereas you can see Japan, only 123 million speakers, okay? Not, the, not as many, as, you know, five times less than the English speaking and quite a bit less than Chinese. However, if we look here, in the world, there is an estimated 1.5 billion learners of English. Okay? So in this, in this instance, a lot of people are studying English. Okay? Thank you, stated. And if we look, Chinese only, you know, what is it? San, San Zeman? Okay. So we, we have Chinese, which is the most people, almost no learners. Even Japan, they estimate that there's only 3 million Sambyakuni. Only Sambyakuni. Thank you, Stephen. Okay. But Italian, you know, French used to be the language spoken by all the world. This was the important language. But now, it only has 82 million. So, you can see that English is becoming what is really the important language of the world. And if we look at this chart here, you can see that in 101 countries, English is the main language. Whereas, in, if we compare Chinese, only 33 countries uses Chinese. And if we look, Japan is not even on the list. But French is third with 51. So right now, it's safe to say that if you study English, you'll be okay pretty much anywhere in the world. Now, my, my kind of thinking is that English is easy to learn. And I know this, in my opinion, because I've tried to study Japanese. Okay? Nihongo benkyo wa chokto muzukashi. Okay? So, I always recommend that people start to learn because you only need to know 26 letters. Okay? Nijuroku moji dake. Whereas to study Chinese or to study Japanese, you need san zen burai kanji. You need about 3,000 kanji or Chinese characters. That's just the characters. Okay? Nihongo wa eto katakana to hiragana to romaji mo benkyo shinakya. Okay? That's very difficult. 
It takes a lot of time. And if you're studying other uh, subjects, this is very difficult. But English, 26 letters. Okay. The other reason is you want to work in the hard sciences. Now, kagaku, butsuri gaku, seibutsu gaku, all of the hard sciences, chemistry, physics, biology, have adopted English as their language. Okay? Every, every time. And in chemistry, we have what's called the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, or IUPAC. IUPAC is the governing body for all the standards of chemistry. Okay? There are other standard societies for physics, for math, and they use English. Okay? And in Japan, Japan is one of the members. My former boss was the president-elect of IUPAC. Okay? So we have to understand that English is part of your daily research life. Okay? Everything you will study in chemistry will have English involved. And if you remember from your studies of even Japanese chemistry, so it's a good idea to study the English. The other thing is, most chemistry journals are now published in English. The Nihon Kagakkai no uh, journal, Bulletin of the Chemical Society of Japan and Chemistry Letters, are also in English. I was the English editor for the Bulletin of the Chemical Society of Japan's volume 80. So, Hasen Peiji, Ego, check shimashita. And this is very important because. If everybody is going to English, it is better to study the English. Okay? Now, one of the other things that I wanted to mention is that international meetings are held in English. Okay. Even in Japan. Last month, we went to the uh, Sakutai Kugaku Toronkai. And nowadays, there are lots of hapio, koza hapio, and posters are in English. Okay? And also, all international symposiums held in Japan are in English. Even the Chinese, Japanese symposium, is, uh, the Asian symposium, is in English. International companies discuss their results in English. One of my former students at Osaka City University was very nervous because he had to give a phone call discussion with an American supervisor. So he asked me, is this correct? Are these words correct? Okay, so you must understand that if you work for a big chemistry company, Dekai, uh, or international, Kokusai Kaisha, Okay. So you're going to end up using English no matter what you do. And today I was very impressed with the Koza Hapio because all the slides had, a, the English was really good, and even the people who spoke in English did a nice job. The other thing is limited resources have led to globalization. Okay. Globalization means that everybody is connected. So my, my professor right now works at Tohoku University. is named Yamasha, Yamashita Masahiro. And in order for him to study a lot of his compounds, they must go to Europe. To, he goes to China, quite a number of countries. On a, on a regular basis. 
And they study the samples using systems that we can't buy. Okay? Or if we have uh, systems that they can't buy, they come to us. Okay? Some equipment has gotten so expensive, we must share. Okay? And more and more, you're going to see sharing amongst other countries because it takes too much money. In, in one case, one kikai in my group cost Ethiopian. Okay, and every every month we must spend about ju uh, manyen on liquid helium to, to run it. Okay, so it's very expensive to run a laboratory. So globalization and limited resources require us to have a common language. Okay, we must communicate. So, the other thing is, that is good for, for uh, people of your age, as you start to think about going to college and what you will do after high school. Okay? In Japan, we offer courses for foreign students to come to Japan. At, univer at the uh, Toku University, we have the AMC course, which is the Advanced Molecular Chemistry course. And this course brings in foreigners who, from other countries. Currently, we have Chinese, we have Indonesian, we have uh, Thai. And all of these students have to take classes in English. Okay. But America, I know, offers many programs for qualified students to come and visit. Or even to study abroad. Europe as well. Before I came to, to Osaka this time, I checked online how many programs. And I found several programs in English in Barcelona, in America. So you have a chance to study chemistry not only in Japan, but also all over the world. Okay? So if you know English, you can study wherever you want to. So this is something to keep in mind. English, extra, it costs a time to study a language, but it can be productive. Now, I want to switch to a different part of, the, of my talk, which is how to study English. Now, since I'm not officially an English teacher, I took the time to, to ask my friends who are teachers to, to give me some ideas about how, how you should study. Okay? All of them said, the first thing is, do not be shy. Okay? Oh, I can't, I can't speak in English. Well, that's not true. I, I know you can be shy. I can be shy. Okay? I'm a big guy. You know, it's easy to become shy. But if you try, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay? That's not important. But you have to try. Okay? And also laugh at your mistakes. If you make a mistake, it, it's not a good thing. You kind of laugh at it. I laugh at it. Okay? But you have to try. However, you must fix your mistakes. Now Sanaito Dame. Okay? If you make a mistake and somebody teaches you the correct answer, or if you realize you made a mistake, Fix it. Now stay. Okay? I always tell the students, who, some, I've seen some people who heard my lectures at Osaka City University, and I always say, Jibunden, henshi shite kudasai. Okay? Check. On the same slide are all the words spelled the same. Okay? Onaji tango is zenbide, spelling of onaji. That's important. Okay. Always check your own slides. 
and learn what each word is. Tai setsu tango mo, check sticker aside. Kagaku teki no tango mo, check sticker aside. Okay? If you don't, if you don't know if it's correct, amari wakara nai toki ni, check. Okay? Dokure mo jisho aru. Online jisho, dokure mo check deki ru. Okay? So please, check. This is a hard one. You must forget katakana. For Japanese people, this is a very important rule. Because the sounds that we make in English, and the sounds that we make in Chinese, and the sounds that we make in any language, are different than katakana. I have not found a katakana word that is correct. Okay? And I put some examples of uh, here of the katakana spellings, okay, and the sounds. So, like today's event, grando, grando, okay, there is no do in the word. In English, we would say grand, okay, there's no o sound. Okay. This, is in, this, is, this will help you, if you forget katakana, it will help you start to really speak like. Of a native speaker. Same thing like toraku, okay? It either means track or truck. To me, these two words are very different. Honten ichigao. Okay, one, one is oki kuruma, hitotsu wa hashiru basho. Okay? So what I recommend is not to use katakana. Forget it. When you think of English, Forget katakana. The other, the last one I always like is my name. My first name is Brian, but in in katakana it's Bulaiyan. Very different, Brian Bulaiyan. Okay, so this this is something when you start when you start your study. Okay, ego benkyo hajimaru toki ni. You must forget katakana. Now, this is a, something you also do in writing. Keep it short and simple. Okay? Don't start with very hard topics. Start with easy topics. Okay. For many of you, you like manga. Okay? Or anime. That's great because the sentences are short and easy to follow. So read English versions of manga. They're more expensive, unfortunately, than Japanese manga, but they will help you start to learn. Okay. Now, kotogakure, or even jugaku toka, you, muzukashi rule, eto, benkyo shita. But my, my thing is, first, Simple rule, kantan na rule, benkyo shite. Okay? So, in this case, the most, the, the simplest rule that you could think of in English is right here. The basic sentence structure. Okay? Subject, verb, object, and then if you have other objects. Okay? Now, this is the most important rule. It's the simplest and the most important. Because unlike Japanese, which you can forget the subject, English must have a subject. And it must have a verb. Okay? There are no uh, just one word sentences. There are no, we have exclamations, but those aren't sentences. Those are just a word. Okay? Learn something, I went to Osaka, okay, or he gave me a book, okay, very simple structure. Now this is, this came from a friend of mine who's been teaching English for over 20 years, and he said, keep it very short and simple, don't go crazy, 
Even when you write chemistry, you have to keep it simple. Kantan no, michikai no, bunsho, hogai. And other simple rules that you'll start to learn, like because. Because is a very good sentence to use. Okay? Because means, you know, it's just imi. It explains, sets a mission. Okay? So because she is smart, she learned English. Okay? I, it's a very simple sentence, and you can use it for many things. Okay? And there are other rules that, unfortunately, I don't know how if I have enough time to even go over them, but, okay. The other one is don't learn sample sentences. And this is a big problem for me as an editor. Okay, you, you want to use the same structure, okay, but don't use the same sentences all the time. This is, this is something I teach in say, because somebody wrote a book and people copy the same sentence and use that same sentence in every paper. Okay. Learn the rules. So, as I said, we have IUPAC, which is the governing body for chemistry. It teaches the standards. And I always tell people, look up those rules. Okay. The American Chemical Society, the Royal Chemical Society, which are America and uh, the UK's uh, Kagakai, they have books for free online that you can download that talk about these rules for chemistry. Okay. Chemistry has its own special rules. Okay. Now, this is, this is something that you, you want to do as well. Make your own jisho. Jibun no jisho skutte. And you want one that has futsu no tango and one that has kagakuseki no tango. The reason you want to have two separate is because you want to learn what important words are for chemistry, but also learn English. Okay? I don't use a lot of scientific words even though, every day, even though I'm in chemistry. Okay. So I say have two different things. And write them by your hand. Pen day or MP today, kaite. Don't just type them into a computer. Computer ni kinishitara oboe nai. It's the same with me in Japanese. If I only type them into my Keitai or my smartphone or computer, I forget. Okay? And if I'm out having fun with my friends, Okay. Make write down the words and their meanings. Okay? This is very important. And then make your own sample sentences. This will help you to, to start to memorize. If you use your hand and your eyes, you will start to memorize words. Okay. And then organize them into your own notebook. Okay. You have, you know everything. Now, or even the regular Keitai have Jisho app appli. Okay? We also have, you know, you know, you have I have uh, Google Translate, all these different types of things I can use to learn English or learn Japanese. But you need to make sure you have the right word. Okay. Tarashi tango skatteru kana. This is a big problem. Because it ha when you look at a G show, especially a Denchi G show, it will give you lots of words. Okay. 
in English, we can use a lot of different words, but if you're not careful, you will choose the wrong word. Okay? Choose the, the simplest word and check the examples of that word. Okay? It will save you a lot of time and, and mistakes if you check the de definition. Last month, it, uh, in my Kenkyu Shitsu, Yonin uh, said, had many English words that I didn't know. Okay? You have to check the word. I even had to check in the Jisha. What was that word? It didn't mean he chose much gatas. Okay? So you have to check an example. And also use the history function so that you can put them in your own dictionary as soon as possible. Okay. Always, if you're quickly, if you're in Jukyo or if you're with your friends and you learn an English word, quickly write it down in your keitai, but later write it in your notebook. Finally, never use translation software. Google Translate, Yahoo, all of these translation software. Honyaku software are done. Maybe Nihongo kara ego dekiru kedo, ego kara Nihongo made deki nai. Okay? Every time somebody uses translation software, it becomes very strange. Okay? Trust me. Because the, my secretary, especially, she only has to translate Japanese to English, and I have to correct everything. So I still have to fix it, even though it came from Honyaku software. Okay. So don't use translation software. Kaku tango Honyaku shite Hongai. Okay. You will learn it that way. And it's better to look up each word because you break the sentence. You know the subject, you know the verb, and you know what's happening. Now, this is some fun ways to study, and the main thing is my nichi benkyo, lain shushite, Okay? You must use the language every day, even if for 10 minutes. Learn, take time to practice. Okay? Every chance you have, practice. One of my friends, he learns by putting things on his iPod. Okay? If you have an iPod or any, any listening device like that, put some English on there. If you want to understand chemistry, look up podcasts that are about chemistry. Science Magazine, Nature, American Chemical Society, Royal Chemical Society, Zembe no Gakkai has English podcasts. Okay? They have Kagaku News. So I recommend that you start listening to that. You'll start to pick up words and you'll start to use them. And listen to them several times. Don't just listen once and say, okay. Ikkai dake wa imi nai. Okay? Haksan, Haksan. When I was a postdoctor in Osaka, at Osaka Shinita Gaku, Hitori no Gakse, or Inse, Sugoku Peda Peda Ego de Ninata. And I'm like, Doya te Yarimata. Karewa, music video, Daisuki Data. Okay. So Karewa eto recorda de music video, record ste. And yoku onachi video mita. And he ongaku dake kita. Eto sano toki jimaku ata kedo karewa eto terebi jimaku kabashimashita. Okay, so this was before DVD players were cheap. Okay, when 16 years ago he, he learned this using VHS recorder, tape recorder. Okay, you want to do everything like this, like watch television shows, movies, music videos, anything you can 
without subtitles. Jimaku nashi de. Okay? Don't, if you have trouble understanding a word, listen to it many times until you can understand. Okay? But if you use Jimaku, sono ego no tango, ven eto nala eto oboenai. Okay? So you need to, to listen to it over and over. But it's also the same thing with read and write. Yomu toki ni gyoku onaji bunsho yonde kuru ka. Don't just read it once and think, oh, wakata. Read it every tango. And if you do this, if you listen many times and you read and write as much as possible without jimaku, you will start to understand it. So now, because But if you, at least you can hear it. So So it's it helps. But you need to practice. Benkyo I have Japanese notebooks where I have written kanji many times, 20 times each, okay? And just page and page. Nihon kita toki ni, ito saisho no benkyo, ito nihon go wakan nakata kara, ito, let's say, seminar de, boku wa kanji benkyo shite ta. Okay? This helped me. Because I started to learn kanji. I katakana to hiragana mo benkyo shita. So you really need to, to think about this. It takes time to learn. So you have to practice every day. Okay. The other thing is practicing out loud. What does out loud mean? Koe kakeru. Okay? If you don't talk, you can't learn to speak. Hanasanai to you ito benkyo dekinai. Okay? You have to hear the sounds. Ego, Nihongo, we use sounds. Okay? Nihongo is very flat language. Okay? But in English, you must move your mouth. Kuchi ido shinakya. If you don't move your mouth, you won't be able to speak clear English. Okay. So I tell people, find a friend, okay? Your neighbor. Tonari ni suwate dito. Talk to them, okay? Try. That's all you have to do. Take a buncho and say it. And have them listen, okay? And practice. If they can understand your English, then try with a foreigner, okay? When I came to Japan, lots of uh, Japanese people, Nihonji no a it's mo boku ni hanashita kata. Because amari gaikoku jin, you know, honto ni sumi yoshiku gaikoku jin, amari ima nasen deshita. So they're like, oh, Brian, taskete. You know, okay, so, taksan ego benkyo shimashita. Okay, so, please, Find a friend and practice. And the friend really can be a foreigner or another Japanese person. Because even Chinese people in Japan learn English. Okay? All of our students in Tokyo University who are foreigners have to practice their English all the time. Okay? So I recommend that you find somebody and teach each other. When I, and if Okay? So you can learn and teach your friends, and they can teach you if you listen. The other one is this one is, you know. Look in a mirror 
Everybody often has mirrors in Japan, okay? And so if you watch your mouth in the mirror, you will start to pick up and learn how to do the sounds. Actually, I had many people asking me last weekend, because there's a big test in Tokyo University for English speaking, and they asked me how do you hear, make certain sounds. So ba, pa, va, okay? They hard sounds for Japanese people. But I said, watch the mirror and just watch your lips. Pa, my lips come first. If I say ba, B-A, my lips are together. Okay? So you learn by watching in a mirror. Okay? Now, this is the last slide I have. Okay? So this, this is the biggest and most important, I think. Make it fun. Find music you like that's in English. Ego, you know, Ego no ongaku, yogaku, or nandemo. Find something you like and you will learn quickly. Okay? If you don't like learning languages, you can still learn if you do something you like. So my friend reads manga, okay, up at, up at Tokyo University. He reads a lot of manga, but he gets the English version. If you like watching movies, get American movies or European movies and don't use the jimaku. Listen to the English. Okay. If you like reading books, so if you really like to read, get an English book and a dictionary and try to read the book. Like war and peace. He learned from reading. He only knew French, but he learned to read English by actually trying to read a book he loved, okay, in English. So any of these things that you can do to learn the language will help you to succeed in chemistry, okay? Because if you really want to succeed nowadays, okay, mosugu, many of you, you know, will high school kara sotsugu sugu, the show. If you want to get high in a company, if you want to do a lot of chemistry, you must learn English. Okay? And I think you can, if you just make it fun and find a way to do it that way, you will learn. And if you make, and trust me, even your hosts, your professors, even 60, 70 year old people who have been using chemistry or using English for more than 30 or 40 years, still make mistakes. I make mistakes. Okay? Don't worry about it. Make your mistakes. Learn from it. Okay? And thank you for listening. それでは皆さん恥ずかしい。何かございませんか? <笑> thank you very much. A very wonderful uh, lecture. And okay, I found a simple question for you. Uh, you learn Japanese, right? How to learn Japanese? Please tell me the tips to learn how to Japanese for high school students. And that's a tip for we learn how to use uh, learn English. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Please show me. Uh, the easiest way to learn English 
is to find something fun. Okay? We always give them... I don't like kyokasho. Okay? The English kyokasho, eto, and many of the books that you get for studying language, I don't like. Because it's very boring. It's And so you're reading, you know, uh, you know. So I say, find something you like. So a friend of mine, she taught uh, an older class of students. She taught Daigakse. She watched Friends episodes. Do you know, know that Terebi Bangumi, Friends? She watched, they watched together and also had the script. And so the students were like, oh yeah, this is fun. And they participated. They actually studied. So if you want to learn something, like many of you are really interested in chemistry and research. I recommend like podcasts, okay? Nature and the RCS and science, science especially I like, Science Magazine's podcast. It's basically a sanjipun, yonjipun, about chemistry, okay? Very recent, chem or science, I should say. And it's very easy, but it's, it, unfortunately, science and nature are, are usually with a British accent. So it may be a little difficult, but if you find a topic and listen to a video, you will learn. So somebody today had artificial photosynthesis. Okay. There, there's a nice video of, about it, by Dan Nocera at MIT, or I think, or Harvard, I can, uh, MIT, I think. He, he had a nice paper about artificial so photosynthesis, maybe 10 years ago. And read that, you know, he has a video about it. Those types of things, listen to them. Enjoy what you're doing, and you will learn. And I tell people, oh, everybody says, oh, you know, Leoli Deki Nai, I can't do this, I can't do that, because kill me not. So you have to find what makes it interesting for you. Okay? Okay, thank you. And I, but, uh, I ask many friends to how to learn, and I like to improve my English, but um, many friends said to me, oh, you need, for example, you watch some movie, mm -hmm. or some podcast, you know, and read some uh, books you are read it, but uh, just listening to native speakers English is kind of hard for beginners, especially Japanese people. Uh, person. So I like to more. I like to know more easier way, or more interesting way, or more um, you, you know. The easiest way is to take. Uh, I would say take a very simple written book. Okay. First, start with the easy, easiest thing you can read. And then meet with your friend, okay? Not just not just your uh, foreign friends, because not everybody's going to have a foreign friend. But meet with a friend and practice. Make a club out of it, okay? In Japan, there's lots of clubs, okay? So more than we had, and try and see if you can make if somebody in the club has a foreign friend who can help, okay? That's the easiest thing is first start here, and then start reading. Because once you hear the word, reading becomes easier. That's the thing. If you can find simple conversation, but kyokasho don't use. I don't, I really say throw those away, okay? Find a, find, I say find a book, but it doesn't have to be a, a really ha a hard book. It could be just manga. I found, I found uh, Shonen and I Jump in, in America, in English. You can buy Jump in, in the US? Yeah. Wow. So you can find just about anything. M manga in the US is so popular. Oh. Okay? Amazing. And so if you go, if let's say your professor or somebody, somebody you know has a chance to go to America, go to a manga shop and find really easy manga. And just get one or two copies and work together to read. And the sentences are short, so it's easy to look up the word. And you can practice the word and write down the word. And I'll tell you, if you take something like manga or uh, anything that is easy, 
and it's fun for you, it'll start to get very simple. Okay. okay thank you very much for a very uh, helpful comment. Thank you. Hello, I'm Hosoka Kyoto from Kozu High School. And I would like to speak English more fluently. And, and it is good to speak English to uh, meet a friend or uh, meet a person to practice with. But it's sometimes hard for us to meet uh, a friend who can practice with me or mm -hmm. a native speaker of English. And what is a good idea to speak, to practice speaking English fluently or do you know a good training for that? So, one of my friends, his, his way to do it was to watch a little bit of a video not, not just maybe one or two frames, very short part of the video. And then he would listen. And then he would, if there were English subtitles, he would put the English subtitle. And so he, he would watch the same little section, okay? And that way he could, until he could say the same sentences and, li and hear the same thing from his mouth, he didn't watch any more, okay? So he just kept practicing the same section until he could say most of the movie, okay? So that's one way, okay? So listen and watch a video many times and say the words. The other one is record yourself, jibunde video. So a smartphone or use a video camera and practice, okay, every day. And listen, watch your practice. Okay? If you have a, a video that you can match, practice that part of the video and record yourself and then watch it again. Watch yourself. Okay? Or, as I've said before, look in a mirror okay? and watch yourself speak. That way you can practice moving your mouth and using your, your words. But the main thing is you have to use your voice. Many times I see people uh, studying English by going, you can't, you have to say it loudly. So, even in a room, and I do this, I do, I go, the chemical was mixed with chemical B, I will koe kakeru. I will actually talk, okay? So when I, when I read a paper for editing, I have to, because I have to, it has to sound correct, okay? So always use your voice, okay? And you will start to learn, okay? It takes time, it's not gonna happen in a short time, I'm sorry, you know, it, you've, so, umata kara, you know, nihongo benkyo shiteru kara, you know, Main, same with me, English. I've studied since I was a baby, so I really, really understand it. But now that I'm having to teach English, okay, I, or teach in English, or help people learn English, I've really started to learn more English. So, because I have to teach, I started to actually learn more. And so I recommend to you, even a Japanese friend who's interested in English, talk to them, videotape each other and listen and help each other. Because you're not the same level as somebody else. So if you teach them, oh, I, atarashi mono narata, you know, kite, okay, that's fine. Okay, find a friend, any friend will be, is a good way. Okay. Even if your mother, you know, your mother can help you. Okay. So, thank you. Mm.
その他ご質問の方ある方はいではマイクをお持ちいたしますあはい、I'm Sega Shiba I did the presentation of artificial photosynthesis and I wanted to know that videos and videos that I So, if you look up an、uh, artificial leaf and look up Dan Nocera Nocera is N-O-C-E-R-A He had a very important paper I think it was nature, but it may be science. Okay? And if you, I found a video, I think on YouTube, that had, had、uh, he, he, he and a, another guy explained it. Okay? A very simple kind of thing. It's a very, it, your topic is a very important topic right now. Okay? Because everybody wants to do it, especially CO2 chemists. Boku no kenki mo, ito, CO2. Uh, okay. So it's a very important kind of research. So look up Dan Nocera, or Daniel, Daniel Nocera.、Okay. He's, I think, at MIT. Okay. Thank you. 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 それでは予定の時刻も迫っておりますのでこの辺りで先生の講演を終了とさせていただきたいと思います本日は大変貴重なお話を賜りまして本当にありがとうございましたブライアン・ブリードラブ先生にどうぞ今一度大きな拍手をお送りくださいませありがとうございました